Let's inspect the graph of f in order to answer questions about the different properties that f might have. For example, where f is increasing, where it's decreasing, and so on and so forth. So, let's start with where f is increasing and where it's decreasing. Well, we know that f increases when f prime is positive because f prime is the slope of f. If you look at our graph, f prime is positive from x equals negative infinity because it keeps on going in the downward direction so it's the slope here is positive up until b. Let's write that down. f is increasing on the interval from negative infinity to b. And then f decreases from b to d so we can write that down f is decreasing from b to d and then f increases again from d up until positive infinity and x goes off to positive infinity so f is increasing union from d to infinity so increasing decreasing increasing again where does f have a local max well f has a local max when f prime changes from positive to negative. If you look here, f prime is the slope of f, and f prime changes from positive to negative at x equals b. So we have a local max at x equals b. Where do we have a local min? Well, we have a local min when f prime changes from negative, so the slope is negative, to positive. We're looking at the graph of f, so f prime is the slope of f, and f prime is negative to positive at x equals d. So we have a local max at x equals d. Where does f have inflection points? Well, f has inflection points when f changes concavity. We can see here that f is concave down from negative infinity to c. So actually we'll put that in our concave down area. f is concave down on the interval from negative infinity to c. And then from c to infinity f is concave up. So f is concave up on the interval from c to infinity. Now the point at which f changes concavity is x equals c. So that means that x equals c is our inflection point because f double prime is negative so f is concave down to f double prime being positive f is concave up. And looking at our graph, we now have a full analysis of what's happening.